Hello and welcome to MyCadSite.com. Uh, this video tutorial is going to show how extruding into solids is done. And I'm just going to start once again with the same chair shapes that I've been using uh, since the earlier tutorials. And this one is actually going to be created as a true 3D object. And we'll be using uh, starting with rectangles and then extruding those into solids which then can then be manipulated further so I'm just going to start with nothing again and draw the four rectangles to get the shapes that I need for later extruding into the solids so I've drawn one of the arms and I've drawn the back and I'm just going to mirror this arm over to the other side and then draw the outline for the seat and this is all in the southeast isometric view so that I can see how things are changing in 3D. Now I'm just going to put everything on its correct layer as it should be and now I am ready to extrude and the extrude command is very powerful uh, if you look at the tutorial on the website for more information you'll be able to see a little bit more but it's you just type in extrude or ext select your object and tell it how high you want to extrude it and there I've extruded it 34 units and since it's on zero layer it actually created a new object on the zero layer as I extruded so now you see that I've got arms as my current layer so that if I extrude the arms they stay on the correct layer and finally I'm just going to extrude the seat four inches and once again as I extrude it because arms is the current layer it has become an object on the arms layer and I'm just going to move that up for uh, the correct seat height which is 12 inches so I move that at 0, 0, 12. So now I have four 3D solids. And I should bring that down to fit a little better. And if I hide it, they all look like solid blocks. And now I'm going to use the fillet command, just like you'd use in 2D, to make the edges of the chair a little softer. So I just select uh, any corner and give it a radius of four inches and now I have the uh, curves on the arms and you can see is after being hidden it's starting to look a little more realistic so I can do the same thing on the back of the chair and give that a six inch radius and again on the other side and this is where 3d editing starts at its most basic just starting with a simple object and then cutting away at it using fillets and uh, other commands you'll learn in later tutorials so now it's starting to look a little softer the edges are rounder and I'm just gonna fill at the top of it here and I'm just gonna use the one inch radius and so I've entered and now I can put type in C for chain and then just use the chain to go all the way around and press enter and now that's filleted to make the cushion a little softer use the hide command and now it looks something a little more realistic so with the extrude command that can be done from any closed object and I'm just going to show you another option here I'm just going to draw a side table using uh, lines instead of the rectangle command and so you can see that each of these is an individual, individual object I have four separate lines so I type in R-E-G-I-O-N for region and select all four and you'll see on the command line that it has created one region and now I can extrude and later versions of AutoCAD allow you to visually pull your extrusion up or down in the positive or negative z-axis or just type in the amount to get it an accurate height and so now I have that I can move it next to my chair and if I type hide you can see that I've got all these objects 
So try it with circles, um, ellipses, rectangles, polylines, and you'll see that you can extrude any of these or just draw any kind of weird shape you want and extrude it as well and you'll see that from there there's a lot more that can be done which you'll learn in later tutorials but for now this is the first true 3D objects you've drawn and we'll go from here thanks for watching mycadsite.com